Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu wa la nabijina Muhammadin, wa la alihi wa ashabihi wa azwajihi ajma'in. Amma ba'd fa'audhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, bismillahi rahman ar-rahim. Rabbish rahli sadri, wa yasirli amri, wa ahlu luktatan min lisani yafqahu qawli, wa rabbi zidni ilman ajma'in insha'Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay, brothers and sisters, I have written on the board, form one, which is what we are doing uh, exclusively in book two. Uh, anything that has to be learned, as far as form one is concerned, it will be in book two in a most comprehensive way. Nothing will be left. And with the, that base, you will understand the rest of the forms with ease. Because some verbs are coming, I am going to give you some idea, brothers and sisters. As you see, fa'ala, how many letters in the verb? Three. So if there are three letters in the verb, alamatu mudariya or hatfu mudariya, what are they? Ya, ta, hamza, and noon. They get fata. Huh? Huh? Daraba yadribu. Nasara yansuru. Fataha yaftau. When you put them uh, in form two, you added ain kalima. You doubled it. Are you with me? So how many words are there now? Four, Four words. Are you with me? Four words. Okay. So, then the alamatu mudariya becomes you. Huh? Okay. Fa'ala yufa'ilu. Allama yu'allimu. Huh? Sabbaha yusabbihu. Huh? You will. Keep that in mind. When you come to form three, you add alif to fa kalima. So instead of fa ala, now you have fa ala. Fa ala yu fa ilu. Huh? Jahada yu jahidu. Okay. Sa ada yu sa idu. Havala. You have will. Huh? Remember, again, why you? Because there are four letters in the verb. And then we come to form four. Af ala. What did you do? You added Hamzatul Qata in the beginning. Okay? Af ala. And then it became Yuf ilu. Okay? For the time being, Hamza is hidden. Yuf ilu. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Aslama yuslimu. Arsala yursilu. Akhraja yukhriju. Why you? Because there are four letters. After that, five letters, six letters, etc., etc. Again, the alamatu mudariya will be fatah. Ishtara yashtari. Are you with me? Ishtara Yashtari. So they will become fata again. Okay. Keep that in mind. We are going to do these in detail later on, inshallah. In detail. Right now, only uh, some idea because some verbs are coming. So, here are a couple of words that we are going to be doing in form 4. Amkana. What is it? To become possible. Huh? Okay. Am kana. What will be the mudarya? Yum kinu. Yum kinu. Huh? Yum kinu. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? And akhraja, it's not coming, but it's a nice verb. We did it last time. Akhraja yukhriju. 
Now the verb that is we are doing more in these lessons is Arada. What is it? Arada. He wanted. He wished. What will be the mudarya? You read. Huh? Are you with me? You read. Do. This is a very common verb. How many times in a day you say, I want? Hmm? Very common verb in English. I want, I like, I, I forgot, something like that. But I'm going to come to that, inshallah. Now, brothers and sisters, I come back to master. We learned in lesson number 11. What is master? It's a verbal noun. Huh? It is a noun derived from verb. For the first time, we learned in lesson number 11. Okay. Now, it is called verbal noun in English. And there are other names for that verbal noun which we are going to learn. In Arabic, we say master. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? I want you to write down this. What is al-master? Original. Noun of action. It is also called infinitive. How many of you know infinitive? If you don't know infinitive, that's fine. I also didn't know. But we forget. We learn long, long time ago in school and we forget. Eh? But we are going to learn again, inshallah. Okay. Now remember, verb, verbal noun. It's a noun plus verb. When you say it is a noun, brothers and sisters, then it will decline. It will have tanween, it will have al, huh? and it will be dun, dan, din, marfu, mansu, and machurur, because it's a noun. But then it is verb also, but in only one sense, and that sense is that it describes an action without tense, without time, without time, and without file. Okay? And it cannot be the main verb of the sentence. It cannot be. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? It cannot become a main verb of the sentence. So, we learned in lesson number 11 a special pattern, wazan. And what was that wazan, brothers and sisters? Fu'ulun. Again, things I'm repeating, if you catch, alhamdulillah, if you forget, don't worry. This form is called a sama'iyun. You know, you listen. Okay? It is not kiyasiyun. There is no fixed measurement. It means, samayun means the way people heard from others, they started using it. In other words, there are about 40 different patterns. Okay? We do not have to sit down and memorize them. As they come, we will learn them. This is first pattern we are doing. Uh, what is it, brothers and sisters? Fu'u lun. Uh, then there is another pattern that I have given you in the sheet. And what is that, brothers and sisters? Fa'lun. What is it? Fa'lun. There is another nice one. Fi'a latun. Uh, 
So these are patterns that I have given you extra so that you can, you know, keep it in mind. <clears throat> Remember, every verb will be on a different pattern. Seems like too much. But they are very easy, brother. As you learn few of them, your mind understands it. And then it will work itself and figure out what pattern it is. For the time being, we will stick to the first pattern which Dr. Abdurahim has introduced to us. It's not number one pattern, it's just a pattern. Fu'ulun. So what was our pattern from Fu'ulun? Jalasa. Julus. See, Jalasa, he said. So there is a file, there is a verb with a time. He sat in the past. When you say Yajlisu, there is a file. And the time is he is sitting now or he will sit. Are you with me? But when you say Julus, the action is there, sitting. But there is no time frame and no file. So what is Julus, brother? It is the verbal noun from Jalasa. Are you with me? So, Fu'ulun is the pattern. And from Jalasa we get Julus. Now, I'm sure you will remember. Brother, Sajada, Sujud. I will only use these patterns. I won't confuse you, inshallah. Sajada, Sujud. Raja Ruju Kharaja Khuruj Raka Ruku Nazala Nuzul These are all the patterns. So keeping those patterns in mind, whether you will try to understand that the master, which is in the original, this Al Master is original, which is like Julus, it has got Jim, Lam, Sin, the root of the verb is there. You can see it. Okay? Letters are not missing from the verb. The verb letters are in the master. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So that is our Al Master. And that is called, brothers and sisters, in English, original. Okay? This is what the, the Western scholars of grammar call it, you know, original noun of action, which means verbal noun. Now, brothers and sisters, I ask you something. If you write or if you say something, I want, I like, these are just some of the verbs, brother. I forgot. Are you with me? What will you use after that? Two. You will always use two. Huh? You will use two. And after two, what will you use? Verb. The base form of the verb. The form, you look into the dictionary. Eh? For example, I want to eat. Now, eat is the base form. Brother and sister, if you want to look in the dictionary, you look to eat. Okay? Not eaten or ate, but eat. Are you with me, brother and sister? So, this is the base form. And then, I like to drink. So what is drink? Again, the base form of the verb. Eh? And I forgot to write. What is write? Okay, again the verb in the base form. What do you call this two in English? Infinitive. What do you call it? Infinitive. So I want to, brothers and sisters, I want to, Drink. I like to 
eat, and I forgot to write. To drink, to eat, to write is called in English infinitive. What is it called? Infinitive. And what is infinitive? Verb noun. Verbal noun. Huh? Because this together makes it a noun. Huh? I want. What do you want? We need mafulun bihi, object. And what is object? I want to drink. Okay? I like. What do you like? You need an object because you're asking a question. What? And what do you like? I like to eat. So to eat is your object. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? And then you say, I forgot to write. What did you forget? To write. Again, that is an object. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So to drink, to eat, to write is called infinitive. And that is a verb noun. And it's written there in your sheet. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Infinitive, it is a verb form having the characteristics of both verb and noun. Are you reading with me? Inshallah. And usually being used with to. Okay. The infinitive starts with the word to and is followed by the base form of the verb, the form you would look if you are looking the word in the dictionary. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fine. There is another form of uh, infinitive. It's called gerund. What is it called? See, eat is the verb. By putting ing, eating. Now, what is eating, brother and sister? It's a noun. Huh? Still, the action is there. But no time and no doer of the action. Are you with me, brother and sisters? So, brother Muhammad, I want to drink. You can change to to drink into drinking. I want drinking. Are you with me? I want drinking. No, no, drinking becomes the object. Want is the verb. Huh? I want eating. Are you with me? So what is eating now? It's a noun. Huh? So if eating is noun, to drink is also noun. To eat is also together. Is now, and writing or to write. This is also a noun. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Think about it. Huh? Okay, to to write or writing, to drink or drinking, to eat or eating. They are both nouns. If you put ing, then you call it gerund. And if you don't put ing, and if you just have two and the verb, then it is called infinitive. What is it called? Infinitive. Now, but this is English grammar. Okay? We learned it and we forgot. But we can again refresh our memory. Now, how do you say these things in Arabic? This is what the lesson is teaching us. Okay? So, uridu, <clears throat> brothers and sisters, what is the meaning of uridu? I want. Huh? And then it will be followed by
أريد أن What is it, brothers and sisters? أريد أن أريد أن And then you will use فعل مداريا Suppose I want to drink. So what is the verb for drinking? Shariba yashrabu. Yashrabu, tashrabu, tashrabu, asharabu, nashrabu. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, no, because it is I. So I will say, an ash ra brother Muhammad Ba. So it became Mansu. Are you with me? It became Mansu. Who made it Mansu? Huh? This An made it Mansu. What is An Ashraba is equal to? To drink. Are you with me? So Two is an, and ashraba is drink. You can say if you want to. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, verbs like I want, I like, I forgot, you will always be using two. So similarly, uridu, ohebbu, nasitu, you will Use after that an plus fiel mudaria and mansu. Are you with me? Okay. Plus fiel mudaria, mansu. Okay. Fine. What do you call an ashraba in Arabic? No. This is what we are learning today. We call an ashraba, brother and sister, al master, al muawwalu. What do you call it? Al master, al muawwalu. Okay, which is in English. If you make a literally literal translation, it will be interpreted original. What is it? Interpreted original. You know the meaning of interpretation. To explain. To expound. Fine. It is not original, but it is interpreted original. So, brother, what is the original? Master. Okay. And this is interpreted original. Okay. Now, what is the master for? Drinking in Arabic. We haven't done it, but we will do it today because it's important. Shurbun. What is it? Shurbun. What is it, brother and sister? What is the wazan, brother? Can you figure out the wazan? Shariba is there. Fu'ulun. What is the wazan? For all you, huh? see, you can easily see, yeah? brothers and sisters. I assure you, in a very short time, you will all become masters and very knowledgeable about all these things. Huh? So, what is master Shurbun? What is Al Master Al Muawwal from Shurbun? An Ashraba. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? What is it? An ashraba. Okay. Now you see, it can be an ashraba, it can be an tashraba, 
it can be an yashraba, anything, an nashraba, but it will be an plus fail mudarya mansu is equal to shorba. Are you with me? So, here you change this now. Uridu huh? shorba. What will you say? Uridu shorba. Because you can change it. This is equal to shurba. Huh? Are you with me? Now, this is what I want you to understand today. And I do not expect that you will become expert in one day or two days. But this is our foundation, brothers and sisters. On this foundation, you will now start thinking. Whenever you will see in the Quran, and after that fell mudariya, uh, you know that this is an plus fell mudariya. What is it? Al master al muawwal, uh, which is interpreted original. You can change this into master. You can change it into master. Now this will require extra vocabs. We have to know all the masters. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, take the page that I gave you, brothers and sisters. Uh, this page. Kataba Yaktubu Uktub An ism file. We did ism file, remember? And that is also a pattern. What is ism file? Katibun. And then there's a ism maf'ul. Maf'ulun. We haven't done that in detail. But remember the wazan maf'ulun. So make kataba into ism maf'ul. It will become maktubun. Huh? You got to follow that. Meme will come and the rest of the things will take its place. What is the master? Kitaba tum not kutubun or kutbun. No 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 no. Kitaba tun. What is the wazan? What is the wazan? Fialatun. Remember. You know Arabic is so wonderful, brother. Everything will be on a pattern. And you will master them. You will master them. So this is Kitaba Tun, which is on the pattern of Fiya. Latun, are you with me? Okay. Now I will only give you. Uh, uh, we have given here uh, the patterns, but kara a yakrau ekra, and then kariun, and then makruun. You will be doing this homework, inshallah. Okay. What is the master? Kiraatun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? What is kiraatun? Recitation. Reciting. Recitation. Are you with me, brother and sister? Reciting. Brother, you use this verb very frequently, but you have never realized the meaning. In Urdu, we say, Iski kira badi achi hai. What is kira? It is kiraatun. Are you with me? When you say kira, you did not pronounce tamarbuta. What is the meaning of that? His recitation is excellent. So, kira is kira atun. You have been using this verb, word, but you never realized that it is master from kara. Okay. Next one, brother. Darasa. We have been using this verb. Darasa. Yadrusu. And then, udrus. And then, darisun. Then Madarusun and then Dirasatun. Are you with me? Are you with me? What is the pattern, brother? Fialatun. Abada Yabudu Ubud Abidun Mabudun and then Ibadatun. Ibadat. So it is Ibadatun. What is Ibadatun? Worshipping. Huh? Worshipping. And that is your master. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? 
So we have some patterns here. We have already given you the, given you the patterns. So all you have to do it, uh, fill it in, the rest of it, inshallah. Now we come to page number two of the sheets that we have given you, brothers and sisters. An plus fail mudaria mansub is equal to al master al muawwal. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So this is master al muawwal, and you can change this into the original master. You can change it. It means we should have the vocabs to know what is the master of certain words, you know. Okay. Uridu Uridul Kitaba. What is Al Kitaba? Mafulun bihi. Direct object. Are you with me? I want the book. Fine. Now here is a sentence rather in front of you. Uridu al khuru ja. What is it, brother? Uridu al khuru ja. Al khuru ja. What is al khuru ja? Huh? Exiting, huh? going out. Huh? Now, but what is uridu al khuru ja? Mafulun bihi, mashaAllah. But what is khuruj? The original. Master. Are you with me? Change that into Master Muawwal. Okay? Uridu an akhruja. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? You can change it. So now the sentence is uh, because you always say, I want to go out. I want to go out. When you say to, then you will be using an and then fail mudarya. Mansu. But that, so what is it? Uridu an akh ruja. Now, brothers and sisters, tell me, Uridu is a verb, it is a transitive verb, and it needs mafulun bihi. Where is mafulun bihi? Now, if it, there was a khruja, then you can say mafulun bihi mansubun. But an Akhruja and Akhruja, brothers and sisters, Akhruja is, is, is a verb. Huh? And An is a harf. Huh? So you don't see a complete noun as a mafulun bihi, but it is al mastar al muawwal. And what is that extra phrase we use? What is that extra phrase we use, sister Mamuna? Fi mahalli. Fi mahalli nasbin. Because if, if it was a proper uh, noun, it would have been mansu. But this is master muawwal. Means there is a harf plus fail mudarya. It's a fail mudarya. But two together, they are mafulun bihi. But I don't see mafulun bihi in a normal way. For example, Sister uh, Sumaya, Uridul Khuruja. What is Khuruja? And now Al has come. Are you with me? And is it Mansub? Yes. Why it is Mansub? Mafulun bihi. Huh? So what will you say? Uh, Uridu Felun Mudarion Marfun bi Dhamma. File mustatir takdiruhu ana. And what is al khuruja? Mafulun bihi mansubun. Do you see? Sign there mansubun. Bil fatah. But brother, if I say to you, Uridu an akhruja. Akhruja is a verb. Are you with me? So how do I describe this as a mafulun bihi? If I remove this and I put al-khuruja, then there is a proper mafulun bihi. Huh? But 
I remove al khuruja and make it into an akhruja. So what is an akhruja? Al master al muwawwal fi mahalli nasbin mafulun bihi. All these explanations are given to you. I'm just trying to explain it in a way that inshallah you will understand. Now brothers and sisters, al master the original. Huh? Remember, the master can come as a subject because it is a noun. It will have al and it will decline. Are you with me? Dun dan din. It will decline. So it can come as a muftada. It can come as a khabar. It can come as a file. It can come as a mafulun bihi. The example is in front of us. Or it can come as a mudafilehi. Are you with me? Now I am going to write it uh, as few examples. I would like you to copy them, brothers and sisters. Okay? Al Mastaru Hu al Ismu. Mastar, it is a noun. For if it is a noun, then it will decline. It will have uh, only Tanwin if it is not definite. If it is definite, if it is with Al, then there will be no Tanwin. Then if it is a noun, then it can become Mubtada, it can become. Khabar, it can become fa'il, it can become mafulun bihi, and it can become mudafili. No, this is a proper master, huh? the original. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? Original, inshallah. Yeah. Write it, brothers and sisters. Mamnoon. Exiting is forbidden. You cannot go out. Huh? Huh? You will see the sign. Huh? You cannot go out of this door. Al Huruj Mamno. Okay, fine. And what is the next sentence, Sister Manas? Hada Sujudun. This is prostration. Are you with me? So, what is Sujudun? It's your khabar. Huh? Sister uh, Maimuna, bada is a verb, huh? to begin. Huh? Bada is to begin. What began? Nuzul. Huh? Means you are in the aircraft, it has landed, and you are all standing, and then the air hostess will tell, okay, get down now. So means bada an nuzul. Lu. Are you with me? Annuzu lu. So what is annuzu lu? File for bada. Huh? Getting down has begun. Be- begun. Getting down has begun. Oh, huh? I love. I love to sit here in front of you. So I have al julu sa. What is al julu sa? Mafulun bihi. Sahi. And then we point out Hada Babul Khuruji. This is the door of exiting. Are you with me? So Al Khuruji became Mudaf Ilay. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? No, this is the master, the original. Can I change this into Master Al Muawwal? Yes, I will be able to change it. Huh? Okay? And it comes in the Quran also this way. What I'm trying to say, we are not going to go uh, in the details of this now. What I'm trying to say is, brothers and sisters, that Al Mastar Mu'awwal can also be Mubtada, it can be 
خبر it can be فائل it can be مفلون بیہی it can be مدافع لیہی so you remember here okay that these things will change into مستر معاول and the and the whole appearance will be different what will be the appearance of مستر معاول ان پلس فیل مداریا it's a totally different appearance are you with me ان پلس فیل مداریا منصوب 